There are a couple different ways to deploy a new Prisma Postgres database, and it's very simple no matter how we do it. We could be here at console.prisma.io. So in the Prisma console, we can click to a new project, and then we'll just give our project a name. We'll choose Prisma Postgres, pick a region, and we're basically done at that point. We can also get a Prisma Postgres database in the command line when we new up Prisma in a project. So for example, npx Prisma init, Normally we do this to get Prisma in our project. We can now pass dash dash DB to get a Prisma Postgres database along the way. And now there's an option for us to get a Prisma Postgres database created for us directly in Vercel if we happen to be using Vercel. So I'm over here at Vercel.com. I'm in my account in the integrations area. We can go to browse marketplace. And if we search for Prisma, we get this Prisma Postgres. So let's check it out. So this integration here allows us to click through to install it's going to take us through the steps of creating a Prisma data platform account if we need one. And then we will be able to get a Prisma Postgres database all wired up in our Vercel project. We also have the option to use this template right down here. We've got this Next.js and Prisma Postgres auth starter. Let's try deploying this and we'll see how all of this comes together. So this is a starter example project that's available in the Prisma examples. We can select where we want to put this repository because it's going to clone this repository and put it somewhere that we can access it. And that's going to be at my GitHub account. I'll leave Prisma Postgres as the repo name and let's choose to create. All right, so next step, add products. We've got storage and this is of course what we want. Let's add Prisma Postgres. We can choose to create a new account. Let's do accept and create. And then we're stepped through some options that we might see if we're creating a Prisma Postgres database directly in the Prisma data platform. So the region, I'm going to stick with this one. This is US East 1. Then the plan down here, I'm going for the free plan and we can choose to continue. Database name, just leave what's there if we want to, or we can do Prisma Vercel to get more specific and let's create. All right, cool. Database has been successfully created. Let's click done here. And then we get some options for configuring the environment. So if we're working with Vercel, we've got options for having different environment variables at different levels, so development, preview, or production. We can also take a look at some advanced options down here, but I think this is good for now. Let's go through and connect. All right, connected project Prisma Postgres to database. Perfect, and the deployment is running now. So this is taking that example application and it's deploying it to Vercel. We're going to have the connection to our Prisma Postgres database all established already once this goes through. All right, so skipping ahead to the finished deployment. Here it is, we've got a preview of it. We can click in to see what we've got. And so this is the example project. We get some instructions here on how we can get some data in place because right now, if we go up to posts, there's no post available. And that's because the database hasn't been migrated yet. There's no initial migrations in place. There's no initial data in place. So why don't we get set up with that next? And in this context here, because we chose to start with an example project, we have to go get that project, pull it down, and then run some things there. All right, so here we are in GitHub. This is the project that got created by way of us using that template. It got created on my GitHub account. So we're going to pull this down locally. Let's come up here and copy the URL to the clipboard. So over in the terminal then, we can do a git clone, git clone, pass that URL, and then Prisma Postgres comes down. Let's CD into it, Prisma Postgres, and we'll open that up. All right, so let's take a look at the instructions here in the example project. Here's how to get started with this super blog example. Let's do npm install as the first step, npm install. All right, cool, so that has wrapped up. We've got all of our npm dependencies. Let's take a look at what's next. If we were going to create a new Prisma Postgres database at this point, then we want to init Prisma using dash dash DB to get that new database, but we already have our database. So let's just set up our environments and we can pull down our database URL. And here's how we might do that. Let's go back over here. We'll do a touch.env to get our env file. We can then use the Vercel CLI to bring down the environment variable that points to our Prisma Postgres database, the connection string to our Prisma Postgres database. I've got the Vercel CLI installed here. We've got Vercel ready to go. And with the Vercel CLI installed, if we're logged into it, we can link up to our project. For example, we can do Vercel link. We'll step through all the prompts here. We can do setup. Yes, we want to do that. We want my projects. And we've got this Prisma Postgres project to link. Let's link that. All right, so it has been linked. We have got this for cell directory here. And what we want to do now is get some environment variables from our project, our deploy project pulled down here. For that, let's take a look at what we've got. If we do for cell env ls, 
we have got a database URL. So let's try pulling down the environment variable. We can do for cell env pull. All right, so that brought our environment variable down to .env.local. We've got our database URL in there. So let's copy this actually and put it into our regular .env file. And now we're ready to start to run migrations for our project. All right, so what we need to do first though is check to see in our Prisma directory that we've got something here in our schema. We have got our user model, we have got our post model. So this is the sample stuff that comes with this project. Let's see if we can run these migrations and then seed the database with what we've got here in our seed script. All right, so npx Prisma migrate dev with a name of init. All right, so we have migrated. We've got our migrations directory there. Let's do the seed now, npx prisma db seed. All right, the seed command has been executed. Let's take a look now in the deployed application. So if we're back over here in the example and we go to posts, there we go. We've got some data on the screen now. We have got a number of example posts. All of this here came through the seed command that we executed. So we can interact with this application and we can delete things. We can view the different posts that are here. And of course, if we want to view this data in Studio, in Prisma Studio, we can do that as well down here, npx Prisma Studio. And that's going to open up Studio at localhost 5555. We've got our post, our user model there, and we are good to go. So we have got a connection to our Prisma Postgres database that all came through Vercel, through the Vercel marketplace with the Prisma Postgres integration that is now available and ready to use. So this should come in handy if you're working with Vercel for your deployments and you want to use Prisma Postgres for your database. Give it a try and let us know how it goes. You can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, we'd love if you'd hit subscribe. That'll help us to get you more great Prisma content. And if you want to join the discussion on Discord, you can do so as well. There's a link for that in the description. Thanks for watching.